In this video we're going to see how we can create a Maven project completely from scratch using IntelliJ IDEA. So there are two main um, IDEs in the Java world. We have IntelliJ IDEA from JetBrains and we have Eclipse from the Eclipse Foundation. And both of those IDEs come with plugins or support to be able to create and work with projects using specific build technologies such as Maven and Gradle. So in this video we're going to see how IntelliJ handles Maven by looking at how to create a Maven project with the IDE. So first off, if I go to IntelliJ, I have IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition on my machine. And from the welcome dialog that appears, there are several options. The one we're interested in now is to create a new project. So I click Create New Project. And you'll notice on the left hand side of this new project dialog, we have different types of projects we want to create, such as Java, JavaFX, Android, or IntelliJ plugin. And just underneath there, we have the option to specify the build technologies we'd like to use. So as I said before, IntelliJ supports two build technologies out of the box, which are Maven and Gradle. And because I've created a Maven project previously through IntelliJ, the Maven one is selected. Of course, if it wasn't selected, if it was on Java, for example, then just go down to the Maven one and click it and you'll get to this dialog here. So from this dialog we can select the project SDK we're going to use. This is using the 1.8 version of the JDK which is installed on this Mac which is fine. We have the option of creating a new SDK if we want to. So for example if we wanted to point to a different version of Java like a 1.7 JDK or whatever. And then underneath there we have the option of specifying the archetype that's going to be used to create the project. So if you remember from before, we said that an archetype is basically a template that projects can be created out of. And the most basic one of these is the quick start template, which comes as part of Maven itself, one of the out of the box archetypes, if you like. So if I go over here and if I just scroll up a little bit, this section here, so org apache maven archetypes all these here these are the default archetypes which come with maven and there are different archetypes to create a j2e project or a web app project for servlets and jsps or a project for jboss scene and a few other ones there's also a mojo project which is interesting as well if you ever want to write your own plugins in maven the unit of plugin the project to do this is called a mojo and so you can create maven plugins in there if you ever want to extend um, maven itself anyway i'm not going to do that now i'm just going to use the quick start archetype so if i go to create from archetype you have to select this to be able to select one of the archetypes below. You do have the option, by the way, as well on the right-hand side of adding another archetype. So for example, if you look at, um, if there's another archetype which you have, which is on a different website, different repository rather, um, you could enter its um, GAV coordinates there. So the group ID, artifact ID version, and the repository URL that, it's, um, that it sits at. Um, but that's outside the scope of what we're showing now. So I go down to quick start and then I click next. Here, this panel's fairly self-explanatory. We were invited to enter the group ID, artifact ID, and version. Every Maven project needs to have the so-called GAV coordinates, which determine whether a deployable artifact that's built from this project will reside once it's published into a Maven repository, and indeed on the local repository and join development. So I'm just going to put here com .zension as group ID, artifact ID, I'll just put my app, and we can leave the version as the same, one zero snapshot's fine for just prototyping something simple. Click next. From here I can change the installation of Maven that I'm using. So if you happen to have multiple versions of Maven on your system, you can select it here from the top part there which says Maven Home Directory. And you'll see as well that IntelliJ actually comes with a version of Maven already bundled with the ID itself. So that's useful. You don't even have to have Maven installed to be able to create and use Maven projects. And IntelliJ does that, just does that for you out of the box. You can also specify the settings file, the local repository, if you want to deviate from the defaults. Um, but again, we don't need to do that. And then beneath there, you can see a summary panel. So this is saying basically the GAV coordinates of the project that I'm creating in the group ID, artifact ID, and version properties. And underneath there, you can also see the GAV coordinates of the archetype. So just like regular dependencies have their own GAV coordinates, similarly, archetypes also have their own GAV coordinates because they live in a repository as well. They just happen to be a different type of artifact. And the GAV coordinates for the archetype are expressed in archetype group ID, archetype artifact ID, and archetype version. So if we hit next, we can see the project name, the project location. So you have the option to change that as well if you wish, but I'm going to keep to the defaults. And then we hit finish. And if I close this window, and just expand this, you'll see that it's generated a project for us now. You'll see over here, this is the output from IntelliJ creating the project with the archetype generate command. So the archetype plugin, the generate goal, and you can see that it generated the project to a temporary directory. Then it copied it across to the directory here, which is idea projects my app, and it generated 
this. So this is a standard Maven structure here. So you'll see source main Java for the production source code and there's an application file in there and source test Java for the test source code. There's a test in there as well, but you'll see that there's something wrong currently and that's this bit here. So you can see at test cannot resolve symbol test. So it can't resolve the annotation, which is part of JUnit, nor can it resolve the assert true. This means that JUnit isn't available to this project. So if we look in external libraries, uh, we can confirm that. We don't see any reference to JUnit here. And the reason for this is kind of indicated by this little invitation to us down here, which says Maven projects need to be imported. So because we created the project, first of all, we then need to import the changes to the project. In other words, get IntelliJ to synchronize with the Maven project it's just created. So if I go to enable auto import, then what this means is that whenever we change something in the pom.xml file, it'll be reflected in the IntelliJ project itself. And indeed, a part of that is if we go to the pom.xml and scroll up a little bit, you can see this dependencies section here. So this dependencies section here, we've got JUnit. And so because this dependency has been included in the project, and because we've synchronized the project on the Maven side with the project on the idea side, doing the auto import, then we can see now that we have the JUnit dependency here as part of the external libraries. And also underneath as well, we have a hamquest, which it just so happens that JUnit also requires as a dependency. And then if we were to run this app, so by right clicking run app main, here you can see the applications run. And similarly as well, if we go to the app test, right click on app test and do run app test you can see that the test runs fine as well. So this test has passed here, should answer with true, which proves that the dependency is working. So JUnit is now being picked up properly by the project. Anyway, that was a short video to describe how to create a brand new Maven project using IntelliJ IDEA. And as you can see, it's fairly straightforward.